Hello, welcome to lesson 31, Usage of Delegates, part 2, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the usage of delegates. Before jumping into this session, I would like to re recall what delegate is. A delegate is an object that can refer to a method. It means that delegate acts like a pointer to a method. The method can be called through this reference. It means that you can invoke a method by creating a delegate reference. Same delegate can be used to call different methods during the runtime. It means that using a delegate reference variable you can invoke multiple methods but the condition is the delegate signature and the method what delegate is going to invoke that method signature should match. The method that will be invoked by a delegate is not determined at compile time but rather at the runtime and this is the principal and key advantage of the delegate and we can use delegates with static methods and instance method this part we saw in the previous session how to invoke a static method and the instance method when you when we are using the delegates and right now what we'll do is we'll jump into visual studio and explore what we learned in the previous session here is the code for that in the previous session, what, did, what we did was, we just created a class called student and we added some fields like ID, name, age, marks, performance and also a method which is going to qualify the student. It, it means that this method is going to promote student based on the marks what student has scored. Here we have we have a condition telling that if student.marks means is less greater, less greater than or equal to 300, then that set of students are eligible to promote to higher studies. So for this promote student we are passing a parameter as list of students and in the main method we have created a list of students and using the class student we are invoking that method. Okay. You can observe this method is static method so we are how to invoke a static method. It's very simple. Uh, you, ca you can invoke a static method using the class name itself so I'm using calling the class name and using the dot operator when I use the dot operator I can access this method and I can pass the student list once I pass the student list and when I run the program it gives me a set of students based on this condition now we'll check we'll run this program and you can observe here we are having a set of students whose marks a set of students whose marks is you can observe here whose marks is greater than 300 here you can observe Mary, Ravi and Khan Mary is 350, Ravi is 450 and Khan is 650 but Ramo and Sam are less than 300 so they are not promoted to higher studies this is what what we did in the previous session but what was the problem in the previous session in this example is here you can observe in this method, in this method whatever the logic we have written right, it's hard coded. But as a developer, we should not, we should make your class always reusable. But this piece of class, this piece of code, what you have written in this class is not reusable. Reusable in the sense, if other school is going to promote student based on the performance he has given, then what that school has to do, it has to come here and it has to uh, edit, it has to hard code again the value like it has to again write the logic to promote student based on the performance but as a developer keep in mind you should not you should always make your class reusable by but by doing this way of coding we, you're making your class not to reuse so keep in mind if as a developer you should make your class reusable always so how to make reusable that's what we are going to learn in this session to make reusable we have a beautiful concept called delegate Using delegate, we can make our class reusable. How it is? Now let us see that. You can observe here what is this method going to do. This method is is having a set of condition that is if condition, which will return you true or false. Since it is returning true or false, and here we are making use of delegates, our delegate return type should also be a boolean value that is true or false. So first, I'll go and create a delegate of boolean type. Okay will return a bool value that is true or false and I'll name it as um, is student promotable okay and you can observe 
in this condition we are using a student object so for my delegate also I'll pass the student class itself and uh, student and I'll create object of it or variable of it okay now you can observe uh, my delegate is ready and it is taking a parameter okay now once I'm done with this I'll come back to this promote method you can observe now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this piece of code with the delegate in order to do, uh, I want to now what I want to do is I want to replace this expression with a delegate and the way to do that is uh, what I have to do you know if I want to pass a delegate here what I have to do before that I want to pass delegate as a parameter to this method so how do I pass it's very simple um, is promotable and I'll create a variable of it it's something like uh, is eligible to promote is eligible is eligible to promote okay now I'm having a variable of uh, delegate what I'll do is I'll just go and replace this expression with that variable okay is eligible to promote and this delegate is going to take student as a parameter student list as a parameter so I will pass this variable okay I'll pass student okay once I'm done with this can observe it is throwing here I have to remove make this class public okay once I'm done with this you can observe what did I do I just created a delegate and I'm passing that delegate as a parameter to other method and I'm replacing the expression with the delegate variable and that delegate variable is taking student as a parameter so what, I, what we did was we just use the delegate and now we are learning how to make our class reusable okay in this piece of code we pass the delegate as a parameter here and also we change the expression here and keep in mind if you want to pass a method itself as a parameter to other method then you can make use of delegates that is the speciality of delegates now once I'm done with this you can observe this piece of code is going to return true or false but my where is my logic that the logic is I want to uh, pass a student based on the marks where I'm going to write the logic I'm I'm going to write the logic not inside this class but it depends on the user whatever logic you can write you can write that logic outside this class and just refer to this class so just refer to this method sorry and now how to create the logic it's very simple first of all we'll go and create an instance of a delegate to invoke the this promote method promote student method so how do I create an instance of a delegate is student promotable is eligible is equal to new sorry is eligible new and keep in mind and this delegate delegate is taking is invoking a method which is which is of return type bool okay now my objective is if I want to pass if I want to invoke a method using the delegate that method whatever the logic we are going to write that method should return true or false so you can observe here this is student dot promotable delegate is taking the parameter sorry is, is going to invoke a method which is having the same signature as of that delegate now if I want to pass a student um, if I want to pass a, a method which will uh, uh, which will create a set of students which will filter a set of students from this list uh, which will filter a set of students from this list uh, based on the marks uh, how do I write a method and that method should return either true or false because it should match the student delegate signature now if I want to pass a parameter if I want to pass a parameter sorry if you want to invoke a method from the delegate reference I want to create a method which will be having the same signature as that of delegate how to do that it's very simple we'll come here and I'll create a method public bool promote okay 
and this promote is going to take a student okay now you can observe this method is going to return either true or false so what I'll do is I'm going to write my logic here to filter students based on the marks that is stood dot you can observe marks is greater than or equal to 300 then return then what I have to return I have to return student okay sorry then what I have to do is I have to come back here and okay what I have to return is I have to return whether it is true or false so I'm going to return true if uh, if it is not true then what I have to do I have to come here and I have to use else loop to print uh, return false okay now you can observe I just what did I do I just created I just created I just created an instance of a delegate that the instance is is eligible and is eligible is going to invoke a method keep in mind that method should have same signature as that of the delegate so what I do is I just created a method which is having the same signature as of as that of delegating you can observe it's having it's a boolean type and this is also boolean type and it's taking a parameter student is also taking a parameter student okay now once i'm done with that what's my next job i want to pass i want to invoke the method promote here okay once okay it is a static method so i have to make it a static okay once I'm done with this method okay but I'm I'm done with the method now how to call this method it's very simple since this is a static method I want to call this method using the student class itself now student dot promote list but keep in mind this student dot promote list is going to take two parameters so what I have to do is I want to pass a delegate as a parameter again here how do I pass it's very simple uh, is eligible to promote is eligible to promote but it's okay okay sorry I want to, pro I want to pass is eligible okay once I'm done with this what it is going to do it's going to invoke this method and and is it you're taking delegate as a parameter itself and delegate will invoke this promote method and it will print the set of students who are eligible to higher studies now what I'll do is I'll just go and run this program you can observe Mary Ravi and Khan is promoted but here what we did was we just made our class reusable we did not write the logic here in this class we did not write any logic and this piece of class now we can call it as reusable we just wrote we, we just wrote our logic outside the class and invoked this method and now you can now another set of school which we are going to um, pass students to next higher studies they can write the logic outside outside the class of student then they can call this then they can call this method this is what the code reusability and we achieved it in this program and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankpro training below